imagine that I give, I'm interested in the density, okay? So I describe the density of a certain particle in terms of the particle label, okay, and time. So a certain function of the particle label, the material coordinates, and time. This is the material description of density. Why it's material? Because it just fixed the, these three arguments. If I just set certain value for these three arguments, I'm identifying a particle. And if I set, for instance, x capital X equal 1, capital Y equal 2, capital Z equal 3, and then this function, by replacing that into this function, I, ob I obtain, replacing by this function here, which is the specific form of this function, I obtain some values along time that give me the densities of particle 1 to 3 along time. Okay? So, by the way, I anticipate something. In general, material descriptions, functions, that describe material descriptions of a property will be described using capital letters here. Capital letters. Following the rule that everything that is material, the material description is given in capital letters. Okay? The point is that several times, certain times I don't know how to use capital letters. For instance, this is a Greek letter, rho. You know the capital version of rho? I don't. So in cases that I don't have the capital version, I, dis I place this upper bar in here that means that th that wants to be, following the, the rule, a capital rho, okay? So capital rho of x, y, z, t, that is the material description of the, of the density, okay? So what I want, want to do is obtain from this and from the equations of motion, this, I want to obtain the a spatial description of the density. And see what is the, the spatial description of the density with respect to that. What I am intended to do, to find a function in which here, instead of capital X, capital Y, capital Z, there is what? A small x, a small y, a small t. But representing, <laughs> representing the same physics. Not any, but the one representing the same physics. So, there is some, some procedure for that. That is for first, you obtain the inverse equations of motion. Okay? So we just isolate, isolate from this. We get to consider that a system of three equations with three unknowns, the unknowns being x, y, and t. And we want to solve the three unknowns, capital X, capital Y, capital T. This is possible because the Jacobian is different from zero. And this is the procedure in which finally I do that. And we find that the inverse equations of motions are this one. Okay? These are the inverse equations of motion. Okay. So, <clears throat> now that I have the inverse equations of motion, which are this, I want to obtain the spatial description of density. Look, conceptually, it's done. Why? Because if this is the, a function that describes the density in terms of the capital X and T, capital coordinates and t, what if I replace this capital X in terms of the small x and t, which is given by the inverse equation of motion, which I do here, if I replace x by this, y by this, z by this, and that replace that, I obtain a function which is now is a function of the small x, small y, small z, and time. What is that? What is that? The spatial description of the density. Because now, that is a function. Look, I identify that, this function. As a function, this is different for that. Function is different. It's a different mapping. Okay? But they describe the same property in different ways. That describes the density in terms of the particle. This describes the density in terms of the spatial position, of the spatial coordinates. Okay? but they describe the same density of the same continuous medium. So, in other words, what is important is that if I have the material description, any material description of one property, if I replace in that material description of the property the inverse equation of motion, I obtain the spatial description of the property. And counterwise, if I, describe, if I have 
the spatial description of the density, for instance, the property, whatever it is, if I replace here, not the inverse, but the original direct equation of motion, I would obtain what? Try it, to do the example, replace here, in that expression, replace the direct equation of motions. What you will obtain? You will obtain something which is a function of x, y, and z, capital X, y, and z, which is what? This one. So you will obtain from the spatial description of motions, the material description of property, just by replacing the equations of motion. So in other words, it passing from the spatial to, to material to spatial description of properties, it's an easy task whenever we know the equations of motion or the inverse equations of motion. That's the concept you should give.